Well, hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little plush made of felt. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to show you is which materials you need for this project. You need some different colors of felt, which are pink, light yellow, white and black. And you also need threads in the same color. Also, you need some standard materials like a scissor and uh, stuffing for your plush and you need two little plush eyes if you don't have any plush eyes you can also use uh, two little pieces of black felt instead and of course you need a needle it is possible to use a sewing machine for this project not for all parts but if you really need to sew uh, step by hand I will mention it in this video but if you decide to use a sewing machine uh, this is my sewing machine and the stitches I used for this project are uh, number one which is pretty obvious that's a normal stitch and number 28 number 28 is originally a quilt stitch the quilt stitch uh, actually works pretty well for felt too but you can also use a stitch for making blankets uh, if you don't have a quilt stitch. Okay, the next step is you uh, cut the pieces of the pattern. You can cut the pattern directly on the lines and because the seams are included. You can find the pattern in my uh, shop, which link is below in the video. The first thing you need to do is pin the two pink parts of the tail on the tail. Make sure that the parts are exactly on top of each other. If you want to check this, you can uh, hold the tail in the light of a bright lamp, for example, because the lights will shine through and you can see if the parts are directly on each other. Sew the pink parts of the tail on the yellow part of the tail with pink thread and uh, leave a little part between uh, this and this point open. The next step is to sew the top and the bottom of the feet together by hand. And you need to use white yarn. Also sew the top of the bottom of the hands together by hand. Uh, it's important with those two steps to don't close bottom of the feet and the top of the hands because we uh, need to fill them with stuffing later. The third step is to sew the two parts of a leg together with pink thread. And you need to do this two times. Then you need to sew the two parts of the body together and you need to use pink thread. Also for this one uh, you need to leave an opening for the stuffing. So the next step will be uh, the ears. You need to uh, pin the inside of the ear on the ear. And you need to mention that you do not pin the two pink parts of the ears on each other yet. Um, also because of the stuffing. And you need to sew the inside of the ear on the ear with light yellow thread two times. Next is to sew the face on the head with light yellow thread. And after that, you can sew the two parts of the ear together with pink thread. And you need to let the underside of the ears open because of the stuffing. The next thing we are going to do is to uh, put the eyes in our project. And you need to puncture two holes in the front of your head. This can feel a little bit weird. I, it's not my favorite part of the product, yet, but yes, you have to. And... Uh, you need to make carefully uh, two little holes uh, because if the holes are too big you will see this in the end so it's better to start small and make them bigger than uh, the other way around. Insert the black parts of the eyes through uh, the opening. You can make sure the eyes uh, won't fall out of your project if you attach uh, the eyes to the back with the white sliders which are delivered with those plus eyes 
and if you don't have any plus eyes, you can also use two pieces of black felt for the eyes instead. After that, you seal the mouth on the face with black thread, and you can also embroider the nose on the face with black thread too. We're almost halfway there, and the next step is to sew the two parts of the head on each other with pink thread. It is important you don't sew uh, the whole border of the head line, but you need to stop at the spots where the ears will come, and you can check the pattern for details which exactly point this is. Well, after sewing all those parts together, it's time to fill them with stuffing. And after you've done this, you can sew the ears on the front uh, of the head. And you need to do that by hand, because uh, if you do it by a sewing machine, it will probably get ugly because of the stuffing. Next step is you need to fill the hat with stuffing. And after that you can close the top of the hat by hand. Then you close the opening in the tail with pink thread also by hand. Next step is to fold open the seam in the body. Put the hat in the seam and sew the hat on the body with pink thread. Close the front part of the feet by hand with white thread. Fold open the seam in the legs. Sew the feet in the seam of the legs by hand with pink thread. Do this two times. You're almost done now. Only a few steps are ahead. Sew the hands on the arms with pink thread, also by hand. And sew the two parts of the arms on each other with pink thread. Leave a part open and fill the arms with stuffing. Close the last part of the arm by hand. The last thing you need to do is to sew the tail, legs and arms on your plush by hand and your project is finished. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you will visit my shop to view my plush patterns and I wish you good luck with your sewing project if this plus is the one you are gonna make. The links to the pattern are in the description and also have a nice day.